Hi guys, these neodymium magnets arrived in the post the other day, so I should be able to get on with a little project. I 3D printed something quite a while ago, but needed to order the magnets to go with it. Uh, let's move that out of the way a minute. Right. That's the frame, which I might need to trim just a little bit to make it fit. Oh, I think it goes that way. Yeah, yeah, it does. Does it? Yeah, it looks like it fits better that way, doesn't it? Okay. You might know what it is if you've seen these before. It's a pulse motor. And I think this one, pretty sure it's Gesamwalt again. One of his projects. That's good. That's the right size. As to whether you want them all the same way up or alternating. Need to glue them in place actually. But if we alternate them for now. <laughs> right, okay. The trouble with gluing them in is then if you do want to change your mind, you're a bit stuck. Hmm, that's a problem, isn't it? I could try... Sticky on them, a bit of sticky tape. They're not going to stay there, are they? Because I could have printed a simple little cover over there. Didn't think of that. got them all the right way up or not. Not that it matters particularly at this moment in time because I'm just seeing whether it all fits. Now that one's going to be a tight fit in there because there's a bit of swarf or printing material. Well, I think it is supposed to be the other way up to be honest. Need to trim the legs just a little bit so they go through the holes. See, I've got a bit of a stringy print there. go over there or come up from underneath. I have to 
go and have a look at the video. I would have thought that was supposed to come up from underneath. I didn't even think to check what length needle we needed. <coughs> this is what I've got. Just that later. Be the other way up so the point is touching. Never mind, we've got the, the general assembly there. The next thing is we need a old solar rocker. Oh, I got the bits from one here. It looks like one of the wires is broken off, but I think it's only broken off there. So that one might work. Yeah, okay. So I say the question is, do we want those alternating? Don't know. So if I glue them in place, then we're a bit stuck. If we want to take them out and swap them. I suppose I could glue alternative ones, alternate ones in. So three of them. I'll have a think. I've glued alternative magnets in place. But before I do anything else, I'm just going to give it a test with this solar rocker base. It's the one that I use for my little rocking uh, granddad. So if we just place this on here. The general effect. Oh, what's happened there? That's very nearly 
self-starting, which is what it's supposed to do. Just needs a little bit more of a swing. Oh, pushed a bit too far. like I might need to lower the cradle down a little bit because it's shaking quite a bit because the bottom of the needle isn't anywhere near the bottom magnet. Oh, it's doing it. Self-starting. So in principle it's going to work. So that's alternative north-south, north-south, north-south. Well, I'm rather pleased with that. I mean, I haven't finished it. And it's working. And that's working off an LED bulb, which usually means they struggle. Oh, that's brilliant. I've got to say, I'm really pleased. So what I've got to do now, move that out of the way, is see if this one that I've used before and the wire's broken off, see if that one actually works. Because if that works, we'll stick it there somewhere. So I might need to adjust these legs so I can put the coil right down on the bottom there.
what's going on here? These wires are so fine, I really can't see what I'm doing. It's got good, you won't see what I'm doing, will you? a bit of a mess. I don't know if it's any good. So it's a temporary thing. Let's sit that on there. Need to stop that. to raise that up just a touch. Stop that a second. Looks like it's working. It's like it's sticking on something. And if it's catching on the wires, flick that over. Yeah, those wires are flicking up. going on its own without me shining the light directly on it. Right, so that bit obviously works. So I can put Rocking Grandad back together. Oh, I just knocked that. Uh, oh, he's missing something. What's he missing? That's what he's missing. Oh, it's rocking about a bit.
it's a bit loose. It was a tight fit when I started it, so obviously it's been in the sun and the PLA's given way a bit. My usual answer for everything. A bit of blue tack. No problem, Grandad. Not very happy just there, are you? A bit of blue tack didn't do the job. I have to glue it, I think. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, aren't I? That's Grandad all over, gets sidetracked anyway apart from getting sidetracked on that this is working so I should be able to arrange it so that coil is in the right place for it all to work. I think I need to shorten these legs, bring the whole thing down a bit lower so that my needle is closer to the bottom magnet. And that should make it easier to arrange the rest of it. I'm working nicely now. I decided to make myself my own little design holder for the solar rocker components. So we got the panel there, the electrics are inside that little box and you can just see the coil there. So that was what the original design was. And then that's what I've done, although that one I'd made a bit too far in. In fact, it'd be a good idea if I could make that adjustable. But, uh, see, I've got about a 10 millimeters there gap from the top to where the coil goes. Whereas there, it's down to just about two millimeters. gap or the hole there so I can feed everything down through there all in one piece with the coil still attached to the circuit board and still attached to the um, solar panel and then you drop the coil in push it through that gap up through that gap and sit it on top so it all goes in in one go I'll leave that in the window ledge now and see if it self starts. I haven't glued the needle into the disc. It's just um, a tight fit at the moment. So it may work its way down over time. And at the moment those magnets are alternate north, south, north, south, north, south. And I found when I was playing with it, um, it doesn't self-start so well if the magnet that happens to be over the top of it is one way round. If I move it to the next one, so it's the reverse um, polarity, is that the right word? Um, 
then it does self start easily so well I'm going to leave it it works and it looks pretty thanks for watching there's always more information down in the video description and if you like this video you might like this one up here and you might like to have a look at my channel over here see what else I do thank you for watching